Tomorrow is a big day for the United Hub in Cleveland. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Carlos. According to an agreement signed back in 2010, United can begin cutting back its services and could close its hub in 2015. On your side, consumer reporter Jen Strathman is tracking the activity at Hopkins and shows us what this all means for everybody, Jen. Well, the big question, why should I care? Two reasons. First, airfares could go up, and the city of Cleveland could lose $4 billion in business. Developers are rolling the dice on Cleveland, gambling $9 billion on its comeback, constructing a casino, an office and entertainment complex, and a new convention center. Groups are already booking events and leasing building space. But how easy will it be for these tourists and businesses to get to Cleveland? Need to do more to keep business travelers coming in here. Marcus Lynn spends a lot of time at Cleveland Hopkins traveling for business. It's a convenient airport to travel through, but Marcus is concerned about the noticeable cutbacks. It's changed over the last few years. They, they used to have direct flights to Gatwick, south of London, uh, to Paris. None of that's going on. Companies are also dealing with the loss of nonstop domestic flights. Cleveland accounting firm Ernst & Young estimates 100 of their employees fly every day. For example, us flying to Kansas City might be more difficult than it was before. Five on your side found United is making cutbacks at all its hubs. Since 2007, United cut 29% of its flights in and out of Cleveland. And those cuts could be deeper in the next three years. Under a 2010 state agreement, United can decrease flights if its profits here don't meet certain standards. To keep United committed to Cleveland, the Greater Cleveland Partnership is asking businesses to spend up to $300 more per ticket to fly out of Cleveland's hub. We'll pay a premium. I'm not so sure we've said what a dollar premium is on that, but we're willing to pay one if we think it's reasonable for the type of trip we want to take. Ernst & Young is willing to pay a premium, but it's still watching the prices closely. They average $450 out of Cleveland. I think that they're getting pretty high, and I think that needs to start leveling or maybe over time declining some when we start seeing that they're getting a profitability model to make this make the most sense. There's major concern airfares may go higher if we lose the hub. That happened in Cincinnati when Delta pulled out. The prices there are now the highest in the country. Cleveland's our ninth highest. And what Delta did in Cincinnati is probably what's going to happen at, at Hopkins as well, despite what United says. George Habika is the founder of Airfare Watchdog, a deal alert site. He feels there are too many hubs in the U.S. and United Chicago hub is too close to Cleveland. So is there one last card the city can play to make United stay? If I were Hopkins, I would uh, use the threat of having a Spirit or a JetBlue come in there as leverage to keep United to their word. It's anyone's bet what will happen. The business community and airport can play all the cards they want. But it's the airline who is running this game and will ultimately decide if it's winning or losing by keeping its hub here. Now, United said Cleveland is an important part of its network, and it's working with city leaders to provide a sustainable future here for air service. In the last few weeks, the airline has cut back a few flights, but also added some. We'll be watching what happens here at Hopkins. The changes could come, if there are any, in the next three years. On your side, in Cleveland, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.